So I'm checking out another manga collection. This time I'm checking out Dragon Ball Zoe. I first found her on Instagram, but she's recently just started uploading videos onto YouTube. I'm going to be checking out her video from, it was maybe close to three weeks ago now. And unlike Boogie Snacks and HBO Manga, who have mostly Seinen and Shonen series, Zoe has mostly shoujo. This is going to be a big eye opener for me because I probably won't know most of the series that she has. But regardless, let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome back Hello. to the channel. BL and Yaoi, double stuffed. There is no order to this, so please. I could tell there's shoujo back there. Is what to call shoujo, Jose? Sign of affection. She's got rent a girlfriend down there. Everything is double stacked, uh, apart from Good. this shelf. Good, to conserve space. I, I just realized her fruit baskets, omnibus collections are not in numeric order. They are in rainbow order, which is pretty cool. Um, I got these on release, so I've had them for quite a long time. Ah, she's uh, a veteran manga collector. Oh, is that all of uh, Kimi ni Todoke? Uh, it looks like it. And the one uh, random volume of Ancient Mage's Bride. What? Here we are at the back. This is probably going to be the worst part about double or triple stacking. So to try and show off your, your collection, you have to move everything. We hope I can pick the rest of the volumes up. Surely they're going to do a reprint because it seems to be really popular still. And It's show JP. So, that doesn't mean anything. Um, also, this is how I <laughs> double stack my uh, It's not manga. manga. I've got them That's fine. on a lot of uh, random books. The singles from for Maid Summer. I saw that. earlier that she had the Omnibus collections. So I have the original singles of Maid Summer up to eight. They look really good really quality, really actually. Dawn of Arcana and the Water Dragon's Bride. She's got the King's Beast, Love Me, Love Me Not by Saki Saka. She's got her other works as well, How Haru Ride. Nice. I just put things where they fit and I don't like it when series like have to move onto the next shelf. I like to keep them together if possible. That's fair. I think this might be a little bit teeny for me like now. We can still it, relate, I don't think it's still despite us being a little bit older. Yeah, it's just Yona Volume 1. I think you all know why I haven't started that yet. Because um, you can't get hold of the rest of them. Oh, Cheeky Brett. Thank you, Jay-Z. Oh, she's got Volume 1 of QQ Sweeper. Shelves. I hate the fact these are all stacked on the top as well. Like, help me. Somebody send me a bookcase. Um, daily report about my... I'll send you one in the post. One two. Uh, QQ Sweeper 1 to 3. Um, Is she going to keep it? Manga care. And I, I think these are harder to find. And I was so lucky. I picked up one on its own. Did I? <gasps> and then I don't believe two you. And three together from another seller. Literally within days on Facebook Marketplace. Next up, we have Complete Maid Summer. She's got another one that's not in numeric order. Buses, and I have them again. Full Moon. And Ooh, we have one Ultraman. No. <laughs> Ultraman it. Of course it would be Ultraman. It's Shoujo Beat. Oran High School Force Club. 1 to 18 complete. Again, these were picked up as singles and... I was going to say, it looks like they were I singles believe. rather than the box set. What? Say I love you, 1 to 18. I've just recently completed this, Ooh, so... My little uh, monster. Ah, oh, she's missing a few volumes. Monster, Four, one, eight or nine. Two, I just noticed how much taller volume one is. <laughs> Good old Kadansha. Volume two is ridiculous. Uh, so that's Rimiano, 1 to 6. Allow one me to the, the moon. moon. Rimiya, Yakuza Lover, really... Witches of Adamus. Wait, this is her saucy shelf. <laughs> she got fire in his fingertips as well. Oh, Bio. Given one to six, love stage one to seven complete. Moving on to One Piece. I feel sorry for people collecting the singles now. Oh my god, I wanted to get as many volumes as I could, but they didn't have. Get them before the anime drops. Ah, Haku's behind there. I don't think I need to say anything about that. 45 volume series. Oh, Spy Family 1 to 7. Behind here we have Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. 16 complete. All in singles. Dragon she got Ball. Call of the Night. Taliban Hanukkah. Uh, ah, another one with the full metal the editions. What they call perfect editions. Jelly. I also have these. Booba. Succubus and Hitman volume 1. And I'm not pronouncing that, but you, you can see. So I haven't read those yet, but, and that guys is my full collection. I'm sorry if that was super boring or super long. No, it's not. A sneaky free view. That's a lie. Look, see, she's lying. Sakamoto Days, Spy Classroom. I don't know what that is. 
an assassination is closer. I'm toying with the idea of letting some of these go, so... Part ways with QQ Sweeper Volume 1. So this is Zoe's collection in spreadsheet format. They've got the USD, the GBP. Obviously, these are just the prices that are on the back of the book, and then you have the total. My knowledge of Shoujo is very limited. She does have some notable series in her collection. Kimini Dotake has been going on for a very, very long time. The fact that she's got all 30 volumes is very impressive. I think the omnibus collections of Fruit Basket are very easy to collect, but she has all the singles as well. She said she's had those since they were coming out. Now, where she definitely loses me is uh, the BL, but she has a lot of it. And then she has a lot of popular shonen titles dragon ball specifically her namesake her total is 886 volumes she has done a couple of unhauls and and hauls so this number has definitely changed but going from the video she's around close to 50 percent of her collection being shoujo and as always i have the final collection here so if she was to buy everything at retail value is just shy of ten thousand dollars or eight thousand uk pounds but as she mentions in the video she doesn't often spend retail value some things she picks up for less than two three pound she probably spent something closer to four thousand four and a half thousand maybe and it was very difficult to determine but i was able to look at some of the sold listings for some of her shoujo series not all of them because nothing's been sold recently but her uk value is actually probably closer to nine thousand in comparison to eight thousand so just over a thousand pound more because if i go up there's things like community.okay i've seen go for nearly six hundred dollars six hundred pound five hundred pound for the whole collection of made summer so her collection is a lot worth a lot more than she initially probably would have spent but then you have series like love hina and then also i think uh blackbird as well which has i've seen sell, sell for less than the total if you used to buy at retail but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because she's never going to probably sell most of her popular and expensive volumes zoe's collection is very impressive now she's been obviously collecting for a long time some of these series that she has are not in print anymore it's very hard to collect them for you know a reasonable price and to be honest even the most recent shoujo series she's picking up are still just as hard to find as everything else nonetheless it's a great collection i hope she can finish the rest of one piece and hopefully start collecting the rest of queen's quality and yona of the dawn unlike the last two collections who need no introduction zoe is relatively new so if you want to go give her a follow you should i'll have the link to her video and her channel in the description she's super chill and she posts a lot on instagram as well so go check her out there as well Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.